cancer risk. What? Body odor likely more than normal. <laughs> It's just told me my life expectancy, well, no. my life longevity. Where? 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 There. Oh, I don't think we're twins. Disease. Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is exciting because we'll be going through DNA results. So if you have not met my sister before, this is my twin sister Anushka. We do have a vlogging channel, but we haven't uploaded in a while. So apologies about that. Um, so it's my DNA results that we are opening, yep. but if you guys wanna see Anushka, open hers up too. Let's get this video to over a thousand likes. Thousands yeah, fair. yeah, thousands fair, <laughs> and we'll do hers too. So in today's video, we are doing the circle DNA test. So I have never done DNA test before. Um, this was so easy to do. So basically, circle DNA is very, very popular in Hong Kong, but they're coming to the UK, and it reports on over five hundred things. Like this is a very in-depth DNA kit I'd say. So I received this kit, it was so easy to do, just unbox it, then you are greeted with a sample. Um, you do have to avoid I think eating and drinking for about 30 minutes before taking your sample. Um, so you get the swab and then you just like 10 times on each cheek, pop it into the little sample thing that they give you and pop it into a bag in there and then you just send it off. It is so simple as that. And the results came quite quickly, it was a couple of weeks, it wasn't like a long wait. Um, but yeah, I think it's time that we we unbox Open it up. and see. Well, it's on the app actually. It's quite snazzy. It's so paperless. So this is the kit that oh, I so came nothing, in. Okay, so there's no results in there. No, no results in there. Okay, so first category, which is diet and lifestyle. So here we go. So apparently, my optimal diet type is low carb. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so you go through and you can see like whether you're sensitive to sort of stuff. Um, apparently I've got higher sensitivity to carbohydrates. What does that mean? I'm glad you said that because <laughs> you can click on it. Just to minimise spikes in blood sugar levels. Okay. That actually makes sense. So you're just really sensitive to the effects of carbs basically. That makes sense because sometimes when I have like too many carbs it can make me feel a bit weird. Hang on, you do realise there's if you go into here. There's recommendations, isn't there? Yeah, you scroll <gasps> on the top. There's recommendations, scientific details. Oh my god, this is so... so oh wow, so they sh it shows you what gene they tested and the recommendations. Oh my god, good carbohydrates. Fruit, unprocessed, vegetables, whole grains. Well, this, is just... this is great. Okay, that's really cool. Did not know that I had that. Okay, so we're going through the list. Spice sensitivity. This is interesting because I definitely cannot eat spicy food at all. Can you? You can't either. Well, I'm okay with it. Um, taste, taste sensitive is super... Super, super taster. Yeah. Excellent news. So <laughs> I get to taste stuff <laughs> nicely, I guess. Detox. Apparently, I need vegetables a lot. Cruciferous vegetables. That makes sense because my body, when I feel a bit icky, like after probably eating like a bad weekend of food, I crave yeah, I do as well. And apparently I will I need vegetables like broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, kale. That makes sense. I don't know what that last one called called what? What? Carl Harabi, don't know what that is. Recommendations. There we go. Watercress, radish as well. You do like a radish. I do. <laughs> Loved radishes when I was younger. Not so much now, yeah. would you believe? Okay, oh. so that's diet. Mm. Nutrition, I'm going across. So, what's this about? Apparently, I need a lot of antioxidants. Omega 3, so that's fish. I need oh. a lot of fish in my diet. You I don't eat a lot of fish. No, I reckon I just need to live by the sea. This is telling me to live by the sea and like eat from my like my orangery or something. There's a certain type of um, omega-3 though. You just need to get some fish in me. Well, that, yeah. or, or some supplements with... Oh yeah, cod liver. Oil. I used to take cod liver oil and I found that worked with my body. B12. B12 and B6. Oh. Here we go, it's fish again. Basically I need to eat a lot of fish. I hate fish by the way. This yeah, is... oh god, I'm really hoping that doesn't come up for me. <laughs> I can't stand it. Well-being, this is good. Interesting. I'm very interested they have well-being in here. How can they tell about your well-being? So I'm um, normal response to everything. Wait, you have an elevated risk to stress fracture risk. Oh, what does that mean? Does that mean I'm weak? <laughs> no, it probably doesn't. Probably just like probably 
brittle bones maybe. Okay. High impact or long distance training, you're more susceptible to developing fractures uh, that injuries. Okay, that's like to do with running and stuff. Maybe I just shouldn't run. It's just told me my life expectancy, well, no. my life longevity. Where, where, where? There. Likely average. Kicking it. So average age for women is like 80s or something, so is it? Yeah. Cities where people will live the longest, what have we got? Sweet Switzerland's on Hong there. Hong Kong. Spain for women, I think I need to go to Spain Let's then. just move to Spain. Let's just move to Spain. <laughs> Probably will my older years. Right, okay, so that's that. Stress and sleep. I'm a light sleeper apparently. I don't think I am. I'm an easy sleeper. I'm a night owl. My god, that is so true. I am a night owl. Apparently stress induced obesity, moderate risk. Oh god. Stress oh, god. tolerance, neutralist. I don't think that's right. I get stressed out quite quickly. Anyway, so that's stress and sleep. Pollution. There's so much here. Like Yeah, there's what's so what's the other one? Oh pesticide sensitivity. Higher, Higher. sensitivity. And secondhand smoke. Yes, when I'm around people smoking oh, my get, lungs. I get hurt. really angry. Oh my god. Hurts so much, so I guess they don't like the colour at all. Skin, this is interesting. Skin, I actually get like hormonal acne, yeah. so let's see if it. Oh my god, acne risk high. I genuinely have acne, do, like hormonal yeah. acne, and when I was younger, I had back knee. Yeah. And it was bad, wasn't well, it? Well, that's amazing it's picked up. Yeah. Ridge, wrinkle formation. Like formation, high tendency. <laughs> oh no. Wrinkle formation average. Stretch marks, higher tendency. Don't have any of that. Like now, right? Talents and sports, sports, fitness. Here we go. Let's just fly through this section. Optional sports type: low power, high endurance. That's yeah. true. She's a long distance runner. Yeah. <laughs> Optional training: low power. Yeah. Blood flow is normal. Risk to Achilles tendon injury lower. Hello. Increase lean body mass. What does that mean? I think that means that you're more likely to be sort of thinner. You lucky thing. <laughs> yeah. Increase lean body mass. Yeah, it means you're going to be pretty lean, right? High energy burn at rest. I wonder what you want to do actually. Here you go. Heart rate response to exercise higher. That's very true. Injury risk, average risk, okay. Lactate clearance, above average. It's not bad. No average power capacity low. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, I'm not very strong. That was very, very accurate. Wow. Success traits. Let's see what I'm successful at. What do you think I'd be successful at? Well, I don't know what the category is. Again, this is intelligence. Oh my god. Right, normal. intelligence. <laughs> normal. Emotional, normal. Entrepreneurship, normal. Creativity, excellent. That's true. Mm -hmm. Like, I do this pretty for creative. a living. I'm pretty creative. Educational attainment, normal. Normal, 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 normal. I reckon yours would be very high. You're like intellect and stuff. Oh, fine. Because she's very, very clever. Like, she's got a master's in physics, everyone. Look at her. Master's in physics. Thank you very much. <laughs> Music and dance. I can't dance. Oh, I can. <laughs> but I, I, I reckon. Normal. Dancing ability, normal. Music ability, normal. normal. Okay. Origins. We okay. missed a bit. No, no, no. no, no. I just want to see how many more there were. You've got origins, genetic blueprint. We're getting on to the good stuff for the minute. Disease, medicine. Oh my god, there's a lot. Okay. Right, let's fly through this. Ancestry then. composition. Right. Okay, European. I'm 99.62. Which would make European. Sense. Okay, so it's told me where I'm pretty much from. So. Northwestern Europe, 49.5. Southern Europe, 28.9. That's Italy. I reckon that's what that's about. Yeah. Northern Europe, 21%. 0.38% Southeast Asian. <laughs> really? Yes. Even Thai, Malaysian, Filipino, Cambodia, and Burmese. Yeah. Vietnamese, 0.08. Wow. Personality traits. So you know me like no other. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be interesting. Because I agree. Do you agree? <laughs> Here we go. Agreeableness. Likely balanced. Okay. Uh, yeah? Fine. Conscientious. Likely easy going flexible. I am flexible. Yeah, well Yes, I sometimes. am. <laughs> Extroversion, likely reserved, reflective. In my older years, yes, I I think I've become a bit more reserved. Maybe like not on camera, but like in my day to day life, I'd say I was reserved. Yeah, well the next one says likely confident slash calm and I wouldn't ever Sound describe calm. you as calm. I am confident and stuff though. I don't like That's... negative output. Yeah, but okay, calm, calm though. <laughs> Openness, likely balanced, and again, you go into each of these categories, and it gives you like recommendations. It's pretty cool. Behavioral traits. I love this because you you're like so <laughs> glad I'm doing this test with you because you know me the best. Okay, alcohol addiction less likely. True. 
Altruism? What's that? Less likely? What's altruism? So just helping a stranger or donating to Oh them. no, I help a lot of people, that is so <laughs> wrong. Obsessions of washing and cleaning, less likely. Were different when I was younger, I was obsessed with cleaning. I don't know, I think I put you up as... Quite, quite yeah, like quite like with that one. Yeah, because I like a clean house. Smoking addiction, less likely, that's very yeah. true. Physical traits. Facial and body hair, likely normal. Body odour, likely more than normal. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Ear protrusion, <laughs> likely. Is that what's that? Small ears that protrude. Ah, oh, like can they come out? Uh, we got the same ears. Mine's mm. small. No earwax type, likely wet. Oh my god, Ew. this is so. Eye color blue. Yeah, I'm blue. Hair, Hair color, color brown. brown. My natural color's brown. Pain sensitivity, likely high. That is so true. <laughs> Smell is... sensitivity, likely normal. Sweat, likely normal. Persistent thinness, less likely thin. <laughs> What does that mean? Is you're less it? likely to keep in mind that your lifestyle environment has a big impact on you being thin. Okay. So I guess if I ate McDonald's every single day. Yeah. Weight to the confidence, <laughs> likely larger. I am not. Oh my god, no, that's wrong. I think this is all wrong, this. You are literally tiny. Unless I'm meant maybe to get larger, day. yeah. The yeah. anus doesn't lie. <laughs> I guess that like might be something in the future. Maybe it's telling me to like watch your traits. I don't know, watch, watch it. What you eat. Yeah, watch what I eat. Gender traits. What's gender traits? Breast size, likely average. Yours, um, <laughs> if yours don't come back likely larger, I'm gonna, I don't know. Female sex hormone levels, your is likely normal. Thrill seeking, less likely a thrill seeker. Oh, mine should be quite high, I reckon. What does that mean? I mean actually, I'd say you're probably more I'm thrill, thrill seeker. You like going on roller coasters and stuff. Oh, Excitement, maybe. adrenaline. We are on to family planning. This is when things get really interesting and we're gonna go on to cancer risk, dementia, brain health, everything. Right, let's quickly just go through family planning because I reckon this is gonna be great. Is there anyone in this category? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Oh, So here you've got loads of like, what are these? Like deficiencies and I'm negative for a lot of them, which is- It's all of them, right? Wow. Well, so far. Well, it's two at the top. Oh. Wow, okay, negative, negative. This so is really your good. To have children. I guess it's like if you pass on the genes to your children. Okay, right. So I'm negative for a lot, but let's go on to the positive two. Hereditary hemochromatosis. This is something to do with iron, I think. Oh, here you go. So it's a disorder that causes the body to absorb too much iron from the diet. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, maybe just like not consume much, much iron. <laughs> yeah, I should really come vegan. I think this is time to go vegan, right? And then the, I don't know how to say that, but just deficiency. Oh, heightened sensitivity, certain muscle re muscle relaxants and anesthetic. Okay. Okay, that's fine, I'll take those two. This is, I, my heart is like out of my chest right now. Cancer risk, cancer risk, what? Okay, ready? Go on. Right. Oh great. No cancer causing mutation was detected. That's good. This is crazy, bladder, brain, breast. This doesn't mean though that no, it, it couldn't like no. develop in the future, right? Because I guess it depends on your lifestyle as well yeah. and environmental factors. But my it's genes... good to know that genetic wise. Oh my god, that's really good. There's so many dementia and brain health. Oh my god, am Come I on. gonna get dementia? This is crazy. This is so it's in depth. Really in depth. Yeah. Average risk. Average risk for Alzheimer's. Average risk for bipolar. Average risk from that one, whatever that is. Average risk, average risk, average risk. Health and disease, so common health risks. So I guess this is like, like diabetes and stuff. That's cool, good to know. Disease risks. I can't believe it goes so in detail. Yeah, I know. Okay, disease. Ooh. Lower levels of HDL, that's... Is that good? Good, I think. Oh, it's good cholesterol, that one. It's the LDL that's low. Ah, so I got that. Bad. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, I need to eat some good uh, cholesterol stuff then. Tooth decay, elevated Tooth risk. Tooth decay, elevated risk. That's a funny one because when I was younger, my baby teeth, can you remember they used to just snap in half? What? Yeah, so before they came out, they used to just snap. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. So they used to break off like first and then come out. So maybe that's where that's from. Oh. I've had no problems since. I really look after my teeth. I haven't actually got any fillings or anything. So no, I've, I've got no fillings it. in my mouth at all as well. So the ones that they had put in when I was my milk teeth, Oh my god. They had out, yeah, so they came out. Orthostatic hypertension. Elevated risk. What the hell was that? Low blood pressure that happens when you change posture quickly from lying down or sitting. That is so true. Mum has that. 
It just means that when you get up, like, yeah, you have a head rush. Yeah, head rush, yeah. But no allergies. No, this is and really start, good. No, this is all good. Asthma, average risk, average risk. The rest are all average risk, otherwise they've been in the top. Oh, right. deep vein thrombosis? Yeah. Gout? <laughs> Gout's on there. Gallstone disease? Yeah, everything. Migraine? That should come up with you. Yeah. Oh, this is crazy. Oh my gosh. Right, it's very detailed. Detail, right. We're on to the last one. Drug response. Drug response. Oh, it tells you like what like to use, use of caution. So cardiovascular use of caution. Diabetes. Use of caution. caution. But it shows you the drugs. Yeah. Tells you which ones in each category you need to use of caution, which ones you use as directed, and which ones you use as decrease the starting dosage, right? Okay, let's check the cardiovascular one. This is quite interesting because, mm. like, if I go to GP or hospital and I might be like, are they like, oh, we need to give you some, like, heart pills. At least you know, yeah. At least I'd be like, I had this DNA thing done. You told me not to. Just to warn you, much, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's good. Wow. Okay, that's not bad. I'm actually, like, I feel a bit at ease. I feel like I need to kind of maybe, maybe make some changes in my diet. I think my diet is the main one here. It's like, eating extra fish, getting that omega-3 in. Omega-3, B, uh, B12, like vitamin B6, I think it was. Less iron. Less iron. Basically just, I think I should just eat fish and veg. There we go, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to get your hands on the circle DNA test, I'll leave a link to that down in the description. I personally thought it was so insightful. I think doing something like this is so good for your health. Just to maybe give you some like, like a little heads up. Just a little indication of what you should maybe be looking out for. Yeah. yeah. Like if I got symptoms with something, I'd be like, I might go to my GP and say, look, I've done this DNA test and it said this, could it be that? Like, it, I know it might not be like the actual thing, but like at least it's a good indication, which mm -hmm. it has put my mind at risk. At risk? At rest. <laughs> I mean, at last year we lost our auntie and grandmother to cancer and I was really worried um, that, you know, I was a carrier for Jean. Like, mm. I think we both were very concerned because two women in our family um, passed away from cancer. So this has actually put my mind a little rest. Um, but of course, I won't ignore any like symptoms or anything. But like, I don't know about you. Do you think that's helped a bit? Like, well, it's bit. just good to know, isn't it? Like, yeah. if you're feeling a bit rubbish. It might be good to know that it's because you're eating too many carbs or something. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> but as always, guys, make sure that you link, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for another video. Bye! Bye.